Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on time and temperature. Time. Time on Earth is closely related to how the Earth moves around the Sun. It has nothing to do with the metric system. The Earth takes approximately 365 and a quarter days to revolve around the Sun. Hence, while calendars show that there are 365 days in one year, we have a leap year every four years. There are 366 days in a leap year. The following are the important conversions with respect to time. We have four of them here and six of them here giving a total of 10. I'm sure you've seen most or all of them make sure you know them please because they're very very important you can pause the video at any time to have a look at them 12 hour time historically the letters AM or PM are used after the time to designate whether we are talking about morning or afternoon stroke evening AM this is between midnight and midday that's a 12 hour period PM this is between midday and midnight. That is also a 12 hour period. Example 1. In the morning a person might get out of bed at 6 a.m. That is the morning. Example 2. You might be going to a birthday party which starts at 8 p.m. in the evening. So that is the evening because it's 8 p.m. Example 3. What is the difference in hours and minutes between 10.50 a.m. and 2.15 p.m.? The solution. 10.50 a.m. is 1 hour and 10 minutes before midday. 2.15 p.m. is 2 hours and 15 minutes after midday. Hence the difference is 3 hours and 25 minutes. All you do, you add 1 hour and 10 minutes and 2 hours and 15 minutes, you add those two together and that gives you 3 hours and 25 minutes. 24 hour time. 24 hour time does not use AM or PM. In this method we only use four digits to tell the time. The first two digits give the number of hours after midnight. The second two digits give the minutes. Let's look at these four examples. 8.35 a.m. The 08 tells you it is 8 hours after midnight. The 35, you just add the extra 35 minutes. And that's why you get the 0835. 11.04 a.m. The first 11 tells you it's 11 hours after midnight. The 04, that's an extra 4 minutes. 2.18 p.m. Now remember this is 2.18 p.m. which is the, e, the afternoon. It is the afternoon so it's after midday. In other words, the 14 tells you that 2 p.m is 14 hours after midnight and then you add the extra 18 minutes there they are there 706 p.m. is the evening the 19 tells you that it's 19 hours after midnight and here you have the extra six minutes so all you need are four digits the first two gives you the number of hours after midnight and the second two gives you the number of minutes after the designated hour. Temperature. A very common scale for designating temperature is called the Celsius or centigrade scale. To put this scale in perspective, we say that water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius and boils at 100 degrees Celsius. There is also a scale called the Fahrenheit scale where water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit 
and boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The following basic table helps us to put various temperatures in context. 100 degrees Celsius, that's where water boils. 80 degrees Celsius, that's approximately a hot cup of coffee. 50 degrees Celsius is an extremely hot day. You don't want to stay out there for too long. 37 degrees Celsius is normal body temperature. 25 degrees Celsius, that's a fine day. 12 degrees Celsius is a cool day. 0 degrees Celsius, that's where water freezes. Minus 15 degrees Celsius is a very cold day. And minus 30 degrees Celsius is a freezing day. You definitely don't want to stay out there for too long. Let's have a look at this little problem. What is the difference in temperature between minus 12 degrees Celsius and 13 degrees Celsius? Now here is minus degrees, 12 degrees Celsius. So from there to there is minus 12 degrees Celsius. And up here, from there to there, that's 13 degrees Celsius. So that distance there, that represents 13 degrees. This distance here, that represents 12 degrees. So when you add those two together, you get 25 degrees Celsius, and that is the difference.